Hey guys, Sickle Mania here. I'm back for another update on my freshwater setup. Uh, this video is going to be basically about breeding cichlids. Uh, two species to be exact will be the bumblebee and the Kenya cichlid. I had a message from Snowmobiling uh, from YouTube and he was wondering how you sex those two species. Um, I have a few tips and a little bit of experience that I can uh, talk to you guys about with uh, these two species and also uh, some questions for you guys too as well maybe you guys can answer these ones too um, let's go ahead and start out with the Kenya cichlid which basically is one of the fish that I breed the most of and uh, have quite a bit of experience with, but also have some questions too. Um, now, Kenya cichlids are dimorphic, which means that uh, the male and the female look uh, totally different from each other. Not in body shape, but uh, in color. So they are pretty easy to tell the difference with. And the reason why I'm saying pretty easy is because I have found that I have been breeding uh, yellow females, which I don't know how this is possible if all males are yellow or a bluish yellow. Um, but uh, I thought that was kind of strange. I haven't really found anything online about that, but I have had females that are pregnant that are slightly yellow, uh, not uh, blue all the way. But uh, Basically, females are going to be like a pale blue um, with like a dark vertical bands. Now, uh, this one right here, you can see that it is a pale blue, but it's also showing a little bit of yellow. Now, when these babies are born, I have noticed that they all come out blue. No matter what, I've never had a yellow one come. And once they reach about 2, 2.5 inches, they start to change from a blue to a yellow if they are male. Now, um, I just noticed one of my fish is sick. I'll get back to that guy in a little bit. But um, now this guy right here that you see that's swimming around, this uh, bright yellow one, that is a male Kenya cichlid. You can see how yellow he is. You can see that he has uh, three egg spots on the bottom, which uh, indicates that he's a male. You can see that the dorsal fin's nice and sharp and pointy. When on the females, let's see, on the females, it's more of a rounded shape. Um, that's another way to tell a male from a female. Um, if I were you guys and you guys were breeding these, I would at least have uh, six females to one. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm doing this in a 125 gallon tank and I've never had any problems breeding or basically keeping enough space between other species. They seem to do just fine. Um, as a matter of fact, I have about four pregnant over here right now and speaking of uh, Kenya cichlids. Look at this one right here. It's a bluish color, but it does have yellow on it, which I thought was very strange. But uh, she has given birth uh, many a times. Uh, she's slightly aggressive right now, uh, trying to keep the other fry away from uh, basically her home. Um, I did breed a Kenya cichlid quite a while ago. That was yellower than my main male uh, breeder right here. Unfortunately, I only got a couple batches out of her, and I'm wondering if that's the reason why I have uh, yellow females, which, like I said, I, I, don't, I haven't heard of before. All I do know is that the foods that we do have out right now, they do have a lot of hormones, and they are causing female fish to start uh, wearing traits of a male fish. Um, so I'm not sure if that has a role to play in it. If anybody can answer that, let me know. I got a pregnant, pregnant Kenya right there. You can see right there. But uh, that's about the 
easiest way I can tell you guys how to sex them. It's pretty easy. Um, even though you see that this guy right here is blue, but uh, he has a hint of yellow on his belly. I know this is a male. Um, the reason why he's blue is because obviously there's a more dominant male in the tank, so he's going to flash a female kind of look so he doesn't get picked on. But I can tell that he's got egg spots. I can tell that he's just got a yellowish look to him, and he's male. Um, there's another one back there. Trying to resemble a female, yet he's a male. Um, it's just a way for them not to get picked on. Um, the other fish that the guy snowmobiling was talking about was a bumblebee. <clears throat> um, I did shoot a video on bumblebees before, but I'll get back uh, to shooting another video for you guys right now explaining how I sex mine, which I only have two. I actually had my male. He was one of my first cichlids I ever bought about four years ago, and uh, unfortunately right now he's behind this rock. But, uh, we'll go ahead. Oh, here he comes. So this is my male bumblebee. You can see he's got a little spot on the side of him. He must have ran into a rock. So I'll have to treat him. But, uh, with males, the way I've noticed that the only way to tell is at about four inches. Uh, four and a half inches, they reach sexual maturity, they'll start flashing their colors if they're going to be a male or a female. Yes, there's ways of telling before, which I'll get into shortly, but when I went to purchase my female, uh, she was the yellowest bumblebee in there. And that's kind of how I look for females with bumblebees. I look for the yellowest fish, because the darker the fish, the more dominant it's going to be basically uh, in the tank. So if uh, I see a tank full of bumblebees and I see a black one, obviously he's the most dominant male. That would be a good one to buy for a male. Uh, Female-wise, you would want to find the, the most yellowest bumblebee in there, and you would look for a rounded anal fin, which uh, this one right here, you can see how it's not so pointy. Now look at how many egg spots she has. She has three. Now, internet says one to two is a female. She's got a mouthful of fry and she's got three egg spots. Now, let's go over here and look at my male bumblebee that I have right here. And I want you guys to take a look at his anal fin, if you guys can take a look at this. This anal fin's probably about an inch and a half. Look how long in it. I mean, you guys can't tell in here. I got so many air bubbles. But this this anal fin on the male is just really long and comes to a sharp point when the female is nice and rounded. So that's another good way of telling. Now, the reason why these guys go from black to yellow is they usually hang around large catfish in the wild. So for some reason, a yellow and black fish to a catfish seems docile and um, they're, the catfish are willing to let those fish come in and eat parasites off of them. Uh, not sure why they flash the yellow and black colors, but uh, for some reason a catfish thinks that fish is safe. Now when the catfish go and spawn in the caves, these fish can go completely black and go in there and steal eggs and come back out and, and go back to their normal color. So they don't view, they're not viewed as a threat. So I think that's kind of cool. They remind me a lot of uh, some of the saltwater fish that can change color instantly. And uh, obviously a lot, of, a lot of cichlids have that trait. Uh, I think it's called the pseudo uh, trait. But uh, I think it's really cool. I've noticed from the four years that I've owned this bumblebee, I have seen him swim back and forth in a dark black color and then within a second instantly change to yellow and black. Um, a lot of people call these the hornet cichlids because they kind of look like hornets. But uh, that's about all the information I have on uh, bumblebees. They're real easy to breed. Um, they're a good community fish, yet they are slightly aggressive. But uh, never seen mine kill a fish. 
they're really good at protecting the female and her young. Um, this is my first batch right here that I've ever bred. And you can see they color up really nice and fast. So you can see that uh, it's been about a month and a half and she's on her second batch. So what I'll do is I'll uh, extract the fry from her again and by then I should have close to about 60 to 70 uh, bumblebee cichlids and I'll go through there pick and choose all my females out uh, sell all my males and uh, basically I'll retire him because these are all his bloodlines I might be able to breed his bloodline a couple more times before I start getting some uh, basically mutated fish but everything's going really good guys in my cichlid tank I got so many pregnant fish I don't know what to do with I am in the uh, process of setting up a uh, aqua bid account so I can start shipping some of these fish out uh, mainly just three species my Kenya my bumblebees and my peacocks I do have some electric yellows but that's probably about all that I'm willing to sell right now uh, species wise um, this tank right here will be full of fry probably next week. I do have a few females that I can strip right now, but I'm going to go ahead and wait a few more days before I do that. But I hope that helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If anybody has the answer to my question about the Kenya males uh, basically being yellow and the females being blue, but for some reason you guys are getting uh, yellow females let me know what you guys think about that and how uh, how that's happening or do I have a different species in my tank for some reason I'm not really sure never uh, seen anything online about it uh, I haven't done a lot of research on it but I have not found anything that talks about Kenya females being yellow so um, that's all I got to say guys hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this uh, helped you guys out and please subscribe like the video if you like the video share and I will post more videos guys thank you